five, four, three, two, one. Oh, great flick up by Alan Armstrong. Oh, oh, what a beauty! Oh, what a beauty! I'm waiting all my life for that! What a screamer! Hello and welcome to the Scarf Bagar Award, the show that just can't stop getting giddy, can we, Russell? Chufties. Chufty badges, that's what we need. It's handout yeah, chufty we, we... badges. Yeah, we we'll start get them, get them commissioned and start giving them out. I've, I know, we, I know. It's uh, people seem to think people think that we think we've won the league already. Yeah, I've had a, I've had a comment like literally five minutes before before this started about it. Yeah, great. Well, just give it us now. I don't think anyone would be too bothered if they just gave us a trophy now. I think we need to find out what our esteemed guest thinks about all this. And we'll come to we'll come to in, we'll come to Daz shortly. Thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean that we've got Daz with us again. Another another guest that's becoming quickly part of the furniture. Welcome back. I don't know. I don't even know which uh, is this your hat trick. I'm not even sure. Yeah, match ball hat trick. You know, you know what they say. If in doubt, I need a bit of eye candy. Roll, roll the Daz out for the ladies. <laughs> it's a marketing. <laughs> Marketing genius, boy. Marketing genius. It was either you or Gaz Stopforth, so... Oh, it's close. It's close, that was not it? Bloody hell. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks to everybody that's joined. All the usual names there. Um, and, yeah, cheers. If you haven't... I mean, I think that everybody that's, that's probably joined now is, is subscribed. But if you haven't, please subscribe and like the show. It does help us. Um, and, yeah, let's, let's just get into it. I mean... Aldershot last Saturday. We'll talk about that. We'll, we'll cover Needham Market on this Saturday in the FA Trophy, um, and then I think I think we'll talk a lot about Knots on Tuesday. Uh, obviously, an important match, and everything that surrounds it. Um, and I've probably forgotten some stuff in there. There's probably stuff out out from the club that I've missed that I'll write down as we go along. I don't know if you you can fill me in there, Nick. Anything from the club? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. No, we've got the uh, the international. Call up. We've got uh, really big bollocks this week, haven't we? Because... International call ups, yeah. Yeah. We've we've now become that sort of that sort of fan. Yes, yeah, we got, have. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's very Premier League, isn't it? <laughs> but why? Why do we have to go? Yes, I'm trying to find. Right, I'll 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 search for all that stuff. But yeah, we'll we'll talk about that. So let me run the titles, and then we will we'll get into the older shop match and we'll talk about other teams that are calling us out as well and all that kind of stuff anyway this is the scarf bagar award a stockport county fan created podcast blog youtube live show and website find us at the scarf uk for county fans by county fans so yeah older shot on saturday um again you know i said it last week i was a bit nervous before the match but as as soon as we started, not it was like him all over again, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it was almost I won't say too easy, but it, we, we sort of just we just held them back a bit, didn't we? And we just, just coped with it. Um, yeah, we only the, really had to play for an hour, didn't we? About well, yeah. half an hour, yeah. Did, did, Daz, did you manage Did you manage to watch it? I did watch it, and uh, to be fair, they were piss poor. I mean, they were piss poor. I mean, they were scared. Just goes to show you where we are because they were, from a footballing perspective, scared stiff to express themselves. They only started to do it when they brought the kid on in the second half and played up front. He looked a little bit lively. The guy was fighting over taking the free kick at the end. He impressed me, actually. We only really started to play when he came on, but we we, we were just out of first gear. We, we coasted by. I mean, we, we, honestly, the, the golf in class was... You know, I don't want to be disparaging to all the shot because, you know, we were there once. But, um, Jesus Christ, they were fucking shit. Sorry. <laughs> Gen- genuinely one of the worst teams I've seen us play in, in non-league. And that, that includes some of the some of the teams from well down non-league that we've played. Yeah. I, th- I really? thought they were, diabol- I thought thought, they were absolutely thought- diabolical. I really did. 
I don't. I didn't think they were that diabolical. I, I just thought it was us more than them. We, you know, even if they even if they'd have tried to have played, I don't think we'd have let them. It was almost like we we weren't. Even the commentator said it. Even if even if they'd have, if they'd have stepped it up a bit, we just got up another gear. I don't even think we were out of first or second. No, well, don't, don't what, get me started him. on the commentators. Yeah, don't don't get me started on that either. Um, I tell you <laughs> what, through them because we went to a flat four and they would have prepared for us to play with a three. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. could see, you know, I've been around football, and so you could see in the first ten minutes, you know, they, they thought shit. They, they played. Now you would have thought anyone would have when they because they have to hand the team sheet and whatever it is before they would have looked and gone. How they didn't realise then he's playing a four, I don't know, but they did seem to be like thrown by the fact that we were playing, playing the three, and um, we, you know the um, what's he called, new fella, like what's he called, the new fella from Scunthorpe, Hippolyte, Hippolyte, yeah, yeah. I thought he did really, really well considering he's an attacking player. I mean, our yeah. fullbacks, even though they were in a four, Jesus, they were so high, and a good team would rip us a new arsehole. They really would, but we were so high. Yeah. But we steamrolled them in the first, and the game was over by half time. The game was over. But um, yeah, I was surprised by the, the change in formation, but obviously personnel dictated that. But at the end of the day, you can only beat what's in front of you. And the boys went there. Could have been tricky. Yeah. But, uh, they, they, you know, they, they were in the King's Lynn bracket of, of opponent uh, uh, ability wise. So it was no surprise that it was, it was a very comfortable win in the end. Yeah. So when you think about it, we were play- effectively playing two at the back, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Away from home. Away from home. <laughs> it's, just bon- it's just bonkers yeah. to think of that, isn't it? That's, that's, it's like it's like I, I, it always annoys me. You know that, that old Tony Wilson quote of uh, this, "This is Manchester. We do things differently here," yeah. mm. which is which has just been ruined now anyway because. We don't do things differently. It's pretty much the same. But it is. But but now it's just like yeah, we're we're counting. We do things differently. Just two at the back, away from home. It's been very unorthodox this season, hasn't it? Just giving heads, giving two goal head starts to yeah, yeah. clubs and winning, yeah. and then just playing two at the back, away from home. Why not? Why not? It's yeah. It's just bonkers, isn't it? Um, any, any, I mean, any standout performances? I thought Sarsovic was great. You know, you can... making us tick again. Yeah, yeah, yeah just ticking us over. Um, Crankshaw you outside. You can see he's been out for a couple of weeks. He, he looked a little bit just now and again, slightly off, but his yeah, class yeah. prevailed, and it was a perfect game for him to come back into because yeah. you know it was a bit of a stroll. But yeah, uh, uh, the, the the left back, who scored, can't remember his name, Hippolyte. He, he really impressed me. But I like play, players that go forward. We've had this conversation before about Mr. Russ. Keep it, keep it. Dave Challoner, for fuck's sake, Macca, get at him. You know, yeah. I like players. So, so when we started to play high fullbacks, I thought we're winning this all day long because they have nothing, absolutely nothing going forward. So a win, next one. We move on to the next one. But we, we did we did really well. It was a good like textbook win. Uh, for me, I know you said we were impressive, Um Russ, I thought they made us more impressive. For me, I've seen us play two gears higher than that this season. So, yeah, you know, yeah. to win a league, you've got to go to places like that and you've got to do that. And, you know, I'm very confident there. Yeah, I, th- I, I mean impressive in terms of in the context of the game. So we didn't, we we didn't go there and let them play. We we it was that analogy that I've used a couple of times before, where it's the it's the little guy and we're the big guy with our hand on the little guy's head and he's trying to punch and doing all that. We're just literally holding them off. We're almost like Neo just stopping bullets. You know, do you know what I mean? With yeah. with older shot. So that, that's what I mean by impressive. It wasn't like oh yeah, we weren't Brazil and we didn't play like we did. You know, like we have done this season. And we're going to come up against more up you know tough opponents and we'll we'll get to Notts County on Tuesday. He says, you know, but obviously their recent run. Um, so that's that's why I said it was impressive. It was just professional, nice 2 0 win, no injuries, no suspensions. SARS came back, you know, got through it unscathed. Happy days. I don't think it was offside, by the way. I think he was on, thank you. Yeah, well, I, I, at the time, I thought that's miles offside, but when yeah. you see that, when you see the still, it's a angle, yeah, it's, yeah, it's always the same on BT with offsides because there was the. Wasn't there a contentious one in the last game, the Dagenham game on there, where he thought Seldom Hales was off? 
You know, but yeah. it's, it's the angles they have on BT. They're not properly in line with it. But I, yeah, I think he was on. I didn't at first, to be honest. But having watched it about forty-two or forty-three times, then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we did get a tweet in that somebody had drawn it and fixed it. it was I can't remember who it was, uh, but just on a line and then round, <laughs> round you know, round, round the back line, and it was so funny. <laughs> I think you went fixed it and then did a line. <laughs> um, any other standout performances then? Um, quickly got brought off, did he? Oh, no, quickly didn't start, did he? Quickly no, got... no. Jennings and Madden. Yes. So that, that was interesting because I know Sam Byrne tweeted just before the match, didn't he? If anyone's got 11 out of 11, then, you know, kind of like a steward's inquiry because it was completely different. I thought this was my week, mate. I genuinely thought this was my week to get 11 right. What was as I've been, We had inside info because we had Sam on last week. I thought, oh, bang, done it here. I, I think he's gonna... still carrying, you know. I don't know what you yeah. guys think. I think he's still carrying. Who's that? Sorry. He... Quigs, I think he's still carrying. Yeah. I don't think he's hundred percent. You can just tell. So I think maybe you know, Chamana is he knows his bigger important games. He knows what he's doing. We're in yeah. safe hands. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Just trying to think, did Quigs even come on? No, he didn't, did he? Oh, yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Came off Jennings. Yeah, came yeah, off Jennings. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm shit at remembering stuff. You know, I, I watched the match and I, I can't even remember stuff. So. I was about um, eight rum and cokes deep by then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rum oh, and cokes? God. Jesus. Yeah. Can't, can't go wrong with a rum and coke, does It's the future, mate. <laughs> but yeah, nice tidy finish from Crankshaw. Uh, he's 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 decent and he's he's good signing. Yeah. Very good signing, but it's it's when we play the three, he, he doesn't fit into what Dave is going to do because obviously Quiggs and Madden and Sars will play in the hole. So when we played that formation, it's tailor-made for Crankshaw. But, yeah, he's making a claim for himself. And, look, he's quality. He's, he's played two leagues above. He's quality. I really like him. I think anyone that's got pace up front in this league and the league above, uh, you, we're going to need. We're going to mm. need. And um, it's going to be an interesting selection choice for Dave when everyone's back in on the, on the running. Because we will change formations from time to time because, you know, the good managers, the very good managers – will know how to deal with it. And it's like yeah. a game of chess at the top level. You know, everyone's such, such, such fine lines. It's unbelievable. But like I said before, everyone's fit at the minute. We, you know, um, we're doing all right. We're in good shape. So you don't want to um, tempt fate, but I'm very, very confident we're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm getting that way now. Um, but just with Crankshaw, I mean, with Crankshaw and all the other players we've got, what based on what we're going to face in this division, I know you spoke about the division above, the the more than good enough, aren't they, to, to carry on this form and, to, you know, to, to keep on beating teams. And if you look at our next handful of matches, you, you can't really... I'm going to sound like a right knob here now, but you can't really see where our next points are going to get dropped, he says. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fast know, forward to this time, this time next week when we're discussing a defeat to Notts County. It'll be your fault, Ross. I know. We'll, yeah. we'll clip this. Uh, I've said it now, <laughs> I? I said it's live. I've said it. Fuck you <laughs> <now>. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, just going back to your pre, your last appearance on on the pod, uh, Daz. It was, I think it was December, wasn't it? Um, because yeah. we were talking about Christmas jumpers at County, and I remember you just sat back and went, "Don't give a fuck." Which was, which was good. I didn't. I genuinely didn't. I know. I know. We're quoting. <laughs> um, but you were. You, I mean, even then, you were like dead confident. It's fine. We're going to win the league. We're going to win the league. I, I take. Well, it. actually, actually, Ross, what I said was, is that we're definitely going up. I'm not sure if we're going to win it. I said we're definitely going to ah, go up. Okay. I felt we, I felt we would go up based on um, how it was all starting mm -hmm. to shape there by then. Um, now there's plenty of water under the bridge. Now. We can only lose it now. That that changes things because it's now in our hands. I know I, I want to pee on something a couple of weeks ago. My, last week, where she said something about, "Oh, we've we've had our blip. We haven't. All right, yeah. we haven't had our blip. Now our blip can only be a couple of games drawing. But if you think that we're going to win thirteen games, it's possible. I don't think we are. Um, so it's how we ride that blip and how we react to it. Now, one thing we have in our favour, which we didn't have under the previous manager, we've always had fans to die for. But now 
when Dave Chandler talks about fans being important, oh my God, they're so important. And you will never get a, a bigger bit of evidence of that when we go 2-0 down to Chesterfield. What do the Chief, what do the Chief Len do instantly? It's like we've scored. Now, in the previous manager, yeah. there'd be guns and bombs going off. It'd be that toxic. And that's how it's changed. You know, and that's even teams coming to Edgeley Park now, they're, they're, they're trying anything like turning us round, like that they're, they're, they're playing two up top really with the good teams and they're trying to get shots away early because they think that that will silence our crowd because the guys that we probably have watching us silence the crowd and you'll be all right. You can't yeah, yeah. do that anymore. So, county fans listening to this, you know, the, the thing is, we become spoiled and we're, 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 you know, I've seen three very, very good teams in my 40 years of, of watching county, right? And other women will be going, 40 years? He only looks 32. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, 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 you know, like obviously the team in 19, to like the team from 1991, 92, 93, and obviously the 96, 97, and now these are, these are the three really good teams. And it's so important that we don't get complacent. Honestly, we're going to go 1 0 down at home to teams, right? That, that's a fact. We're going to, even yeah. if we win the game. And what we must do as county fans is remember how fucking good we are. And the game mm. is lasts for 90 minutes. So don't panic. We've shown it against Bolton. Right? We've shown it against Chesterfield. So we can do it against other teams. Because what managers, what good managers are going to start doing now is they're going to realise the only way to beat us is when we play a three, is to go down the sides with pace. That's, that's our only weakness. Our, 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 our back three are not Linford Christie. All right? If you've got someone like you know, the geezer at Chesterfield who, Classic example who scored, you know, the, the big sign of Chesterfield to, to manager. The guy Shibanga. is injured at the minute. Yeah, Shibanga, yeah. And yeah, and so good teams are going to try that because turning us round it do it working. So that you know, if I was managing against County now, I'd say to I'd play my two fastest players down the channels and I'd put every man on a bonus to get as many shots in as goal at goal as we could in the first five minutes to try and quiet the crowd. That used to work under that other manager it doesn't now and just to break away from that very quickly can i send my deepest condolences to the good people of dundee unfucking lucky <laughs> i'm Next sure they're question. listening i'm sure they're listening well let's go let's get back to the blip um because you said the, 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 there is a school of thought that we that we've that we have we've had our blip and they've they've resulted in one nil wins against poor teams at home and that's that's our blip no, I'll take that. Nick, you, you, Nick, you've been watching the game a long time. We're, we're going to draw or lose a game. It's obvious. It's obvious. Yeah. Come on, we can't go thirteen. Wrexham, I think. I think. I think Wrexham will be a draw for starters, which, which, which is fine. As long, as long but it's as how we react to that. It's yeah. how we react to it. Yeah, and and you know what? Like like you said, we, we we've done it against Bolton. We've done it against other teams. I just I just feel like every challenge that the since the challengers took over, every challenge that the, the team have had, they've passed the challenge, haven't they? You know, going 2-0 down to Chesterfield, OK, a man got sent off, but, you know, going down, giving giving Bolton a two-goal head start, that kind of thing. We've, we've, we've passed all these challenges, so it, it shouldn't phase us as fans if we do go 1-0 down. And, we you know, we should we should back the team like, like Charlie's asking us to. Um, yeah, a few weeks ago, I was really nervous and, like, really sort of... And, but now I'm just getting chuffedies, <laughs> I've got to admit. I'm, very, I'm I'm really free and easy now. I'm just like, yeah. It's happening. <laughs> my point being yeah. is, my point being is, right? If you're eating at the finest restaurants every night, like I used to do when I was famous in London, then you come back and go in the fryer. It there's a big fucking difference. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So so when the county fans, right, who are so used to us just dominating, and it doesn't happen because it's honestly. In this league, there are some really, really, really good managers, really good managers, and they're not stupid, and they'll do everything they can, no matter how fine a detail, to try and get one over, to try and do something yeah, yeah. that gives them the benefit. And one of them is the crowd, because we're the most supported team in the league. So, you know, you silence that noise, and there's one of the battles won straight away. But what is encouraging, you know, like I said, I've been going for a long time. Sorry, my earpiece keeps falling out. That's what I was saying to earlier, didn't I? But um, my uh, um, so my, my point being is is is, is stay stay to the county fans who, who, who do look. We're all nervous, and when you get nervous, you get a bit more jittery. Of course you do. So like that, that last game at home, you know, for for quite a period, there was a little bit of you could just there was no negativity, but you could feel 
the the, the flushings of the old Rusk atmosphere. Just, 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 just every now and again. But then we get on top and away we go. So my my point is that, that, that even though it's the team that's going to get us promoted, the people that are sat in the Cheetle end, in the pop side, in the in the Bigara stand, you are going to play a part because you've got to stay with us when things are not going right. You've got to stay with the team. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask, can I ask Daz, you, have you been coming to the old matches? Because I know you, you're sitting up at tier four, didn't you? I saw you every week last, before COVID. Yeah, I, yeah I, 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 I've not been to everyone this season, but I've been to a few. I've, um, obviously, your Chesterfield, your Boltons. Um, I didn't go to the last game. I was listening to um, the dulcet tones of JK, who I've been sampling all fucking day. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, oh, exclusive! Exclusive! <laughs> yeah, I've been sampling sound bites of JK all day. Oh, nice. what a day! What a day! When, when, when can we talk about that then? When can we talk about that? Well, we... well when, when, when there's a when there's a gap in the show. Okay, this feels do... like a gap right now. No, let's let's do it later. Let's do, let's talk. Let's keep, keep the chronological chrono, chrono, yeah, chrono, yeah. chronology yeah. going. <laughs> then we'll talk about it later. That's really smooth, Russ. Do you do you do a radio show or something? <laughs> <laughs> is there a radio? Is there a radio station I can find you on? Being this, there the, the, the will be as, as of Sunday. Yes, the, yes, there will be. Yeah, on Real Rock Radio. Yeah, get on it, people. I'm gonna get on yeah. it. Yeah, very yeah, excited. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm literally <laughs> making sure, making sure I'm doing nothing on Sunday. It's gonna be like the old days. I'm gonna be by the wireless. Oh. By the wireless, yeah. <laughs> Repeated on a Friday as well. Um, anyway, Saturday then. Need and bark it. Is it needless, or do we do we do we need the game? Yeah. What do you think? Could rot- rotate a bit. Get Sars a bit. You know, a bit more game time. Yeah, give him give him another hour. Play well, three, I'm not sure play about three that. Weeks. I, I, I think it'll all depend on the pitch. Um, that's it. Yeah. We won't any angles yeah. going over. Honestly, I, I know we want to get to Wembley, and it will be. But I know we had last time we were on, we were discussing the trophy for remember. Yeah, for yeah. The Grimsby yeah. game. Yeah. And we're very close. It'd be nice to go to Wembley. Um, these are managed by Horlock, who used to uh, play for City. Mm. Yeah. Very, 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 very good midfield player. And uh, this is not going to be easy. I, I've got no. visions of yeah. a very heavy pitch. You know what I mean? It's not going to be easy. Nick just said about rotation. I hope it's not too much rotation because I still would no, like no. the boys to get to Wembley, you know? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, of all the teams we've played in this run, to be honest, these are the ones I'm, I've got a bit of a jittery feeling about. I mean, they've, they've already knocked two two teams from this league out, I think. Um, yeah. It's, but I, I think, yeah, like maybe 50% rotation and we should have should have enough to... I like you said though that I think the pitch will dictate a lot yeah. of players. players who've had knocks and what have you like John Johnson as well is another one who's been carrying a knock. So I don't think we'll be risking him if the pitch is a bit of a pudding. Particularly with knocks counting so soon after it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't think it's worth the risk, to be honest. If, if that that EFL place is getting closer and I wouldn't want to risk it for, for anything. Um, I, th- I think regardless, we've got enough to win both games. Oh yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. But it's that I th- you make a good point, Daz. It's the it's the pitch for me, and if that if it's not yeah. tended to properly, and when we you know so somebody does go over, or you know that I don't know they go over off, off the side of the pitch or something, then we're going to lose that player, and yeah, that doesn't bear thinking about. And these are going to want. I'll tell you right now, even if, even if they're a football side or not, they're going to try and level it up, right? Yeah, Trust of course, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what they're yeah. going to do is they're going to. Be quite aggressive early on, all right. And they're gonna they're gonna get forward quickly. And they're gonna try and play in our final third, and they're gonna be you know dirty, not dirty as in like Vinnie Jones did, but they're gonna be aggressive and try and level it that way. Yeah, that's how I feel they will play. So on a on a quag of a pitch, and let's be honest, it's been pissing down all week. I don't know what it's like on the outer end of Mars where I need a market. Is <laughs> fucking out? Could it be any near? <laughs> Jesus Christ! So no, it, I'm not it, going to it. Is it Suffolk? Far. Is it? Yeah, that yeah but that's still a schlep. That's still yeah. like a three or four yeah, hours. Really it's right. easy. Yeah. But yeah. So, what my, my point being is, can we beat them? We should do. We should beat them yeah. with our yeah. team. Um, I, I, it'd be interesting to see if he plays the, the, the young kid as well, another you know, flash lad in midfield who, who looks quite tired. I can't remember his name. 16-year-old kid. Cody Johnson. Cody, yeah. Cody Johnson. Yeah. yeah. But this will be a completely different game 
to the other game because the other team were coming up to their Wembley taking photos. That's why it was all nice and pretty. We're yeah. going down to someone else's brothel here and they yeah. don't want you to be there with you. <laughs> yeah. right? So it's going to be very, very, very tasty. Yeah, that's a, it's a good point. I mean, that, that that's why... That's why I mean that's why I wouldn't I wouldn't risk it so much because it is it's their, their ground it's not ours like for all the reasons you said you just said I would play I would play more more of the lads holding Johnson Ali and bear, bear in mind as well that um, Notts County are playing Wrexham in their trophy game and that that's on Friday night instead of instead of Saturday. 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 but but again they, they've also got the headache of because the, the two teams going for promotion so the, the managers will almost be second guessing each other it's like well. Are we playing the first team here, or are we yeah. rotating a bit? That's it. You've got you've got that to to think about for them as well. That's a good point. That yeah, that's a very good point. Um, you always wonder that when when you see like when it's like the Carabao Cup or whatever, and it's like Liverpool against Chelsea in like the fourth round. It's like, oh, what what do we do here? Yeah, what, you know, are they gonna? Because we don't want to put the kids out, and then they go and put like the best team out and smash us. But yeah. There's no, there's no like gentleman's agreement before the team sheets are handed in, is there? No. Well, if you play the kids, we'll play the kids. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right then. <laughs> um, yeah. So some of the fixtures this weekend are, are, are pretty, pretty tasty as well. Because while we're playing Needham, um, Chesterfield, th- Boreham Wood, Chesterfield, Boreham Wood, yeah. Um, which is pretty Saturday decent. Time. Yes. So that's worth. That's definitely worth watching. Um, but that's like the. I keep, I keep hearing this about oh oh Stockport's running oh oh that that last four games that they've got oh well everyone else will be playing each other between now and then them them last four games are not going to matter at all and again they're just going to clip this bit and they're going to put yeah. it on their <laughs> and don't care don't care yeah it, well let, let's just say we hope they don't matter when we, when it comes to it mm. the, yeah the, the, yeah the, absolutely the, yeah that we're in a position where. You know, we, we need to pick up the odd point or just get a win or something out of the last four. Well, as we've seen this week, they're, they're all cancelling each other out. They're all taking points off each other. Yeah. I, I, I don't think we're too far from it being a two-horse race now. You reckon? What, was in Wrexham? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Halifax are motoring pretty well at the moment as well. I know I know we've said about their pitch and what have you, but they're getting results on it. It's working for them. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Halifax is a dark horse, perhaps. Yeah, there's, but some, some, there's, some, there's going to be some very disappointed big fans of big clubs. Coming, yeah, coming and the end of the season. It, it it feels like the first two or the first one's definitely dropped, which is Grimsby. I think they're they're oh, yeah, out yeah. of yeah. You could, I mean, that was probably weeks ago. Um, there's more chance of us winning it, like as in us three as people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then and then I think Notts County are, are, are doing the best to to count themselves out, aren't they? Yeah, um, yeah. they got, they got I, a three 0 draw, yeah. with Solly Hall, and and so, uh, but I don't want to count that. I don't, I, I, you know, they, they are on the way out, and they, they're doing the best to do that. But we've got to play them on Tuesday, and I've yeah. got this sneaky feeling they're going to come and do what you said, Daz. They're going to call marginal gains, do everything they can. There's going to be shit housery from the start, I think. Like, like Could be another Chesterfield, yeah. That's what I mean, yeah. Um, which, when you think about it, it's quite admirable, really, isn't it? From Chesterfield's point of view, when the, when we played them, because their fans got on board with the shit housery, didn't they, for their team? It was... I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't um, help but admire it, to be honest. So, uh, I, I'm expecting, fully expecting that from Notts County on Tuesday. Yeah, well, is well, their manager's going to look at it like this, isn't he? He's going to say, are we going to win the league? Probably not. So they'll be happy to get a point from us. That says yeah. t- tells me straight away what they're going to do, which, yeah. is what I, which is what I was saying earlier about the county faithful. Got to be positive. And there's going to be a great atmosphere there because I know there's a march on that night as well. So it's going yeah. to be that real euphoric. And what can tend to happen when there's that euphoria and we don't hit the, the blocks running in the first 10 minutes? Oh, that, and then the euphoria drops. It's a bit like when you've been out, yeah, and we all know that, Nick, right? When you've been out and you have that little lull and suddenly the, yeah. you spot a woman in your dreams and away you go, <laughs> you're back up again, right? <laughs> so you don't want that. <laughs> and you don't have to pay for it. So... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so so I hope that that doesn't happen, but 
if you're the if you're the Notts County manager, you probably can't win. Well, you can mathematically win the league, but you know if you're professional, if you know you're not going to win the league. So you're thinking, right, playoffs. Let's not get beat at Stockport. Now, if they were in third or fourth and they had a chance of winning the league, it would be a different game. But they're going to come and say, let's not get beat off Stockport, and they're going to rightly so use every shit houseery trick in the book. But again, right. We've got to stop. I know it's difficult. We're all getting nervous because we've all been at fucking league for so long and we can smell it. It smells great. We're at the door of League Two and we can smell it after all those years of, of this crap we've had to endure, getting murdered six at Alpherton and whatever, you know, and we're here. So we're getting nervous and we're losing sight of the fact that we, even the all the analysts and all the pros are saying we are the fucking best team. So... I've pride in that and believe in it. Let's not get nervous. Believe in we're going to do it. And don't worry about everybody else because at Edgerly Park, we should turn people over. My point being, right, is that let's not get beat by, by trying too hard to try and please certain areas of the Bagara stand. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. We haven't shot for 10 minutes. You know, <laughs> football isn't like that. Particularly, we're at the business end now. We're talking about people's jobs and new contracts and stuff on the line for, for visiting clubs. So it's not as easy as, as what sitting in the stand is makes it look. It's not just because they're fucking second from bottom. It's still hard or the seventh in the league or whoever we're playing against. So I, I am not, I mean, I'm nervous, but I'm not bothered in the slightest because the first time in a long time, I know we've got a manager who's going to do it. I know we've got a squad. I know we've got a backer. I know we've got a director of football. And, um, and I think we're going to do it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. You should be in the changing rooms, you. You should be, you should be in the changing rooms. Well, you know, believe it or not, you might not know this. I used to be a professional manager. Can you believe that? Hmm. Hey? Wait, I was the it, Dave yeah. Chandler of Asia. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're right, though. You're right. And and for me personally, and I don't know what it's like for you two, and I, I think I've said it before, I get really nervous in between games. And I see all these results coming in, like, you know, Wrexham winning 4-2 last night. I'm thinking, shit. But as soon as I get to the ground, that you know, like Tuesday, I'll get to the ground and I'll be proper up for it. And, and as soon as you start seeing him play as well, you just think, yes, we're... There's nothing. There's like nothing to be worried about. Shit, well, like shit, shit me up a bit. But apart from that, <laughs> Russ, here's the thing: we could be nine points clear, couldn't we, on Tuesday night? If results go our way, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you see what I'm saying? Nine points. That's three wins. I don't think we're going to lose three matches between now no. and then. I don't. No. Even on a blip, I don't see it. I don't see it. He's too good. He knows what he's doing. He's too good. He won't do that. Because he, yeah. he's one of these managers. He'll, he'll make wholesale changes to get a result. He's not fra- This is why the mood in the camp and my mood towards what was happening when, when you know, the way they got rid of Jim and the, the, the funeral director who come in after him. You know, it's like the way the, way the whole energy has changed. You know what I mean? It, it, it's just... It's, it's oozing with confidence. And I, and, and I think that now that the manager's being allowed to manage, he, you know, I'd put my house, I would put my house on him do, uh, getting this job right. He is, Dave Challoner, right, I'm going to say this, right, will, will manage in the Championship or even the Premier League in the future. Will it be with us? I don't know. But he will. Because I can see him in a few years' time at somewhere like Everton or something. Because he's he's like what David Moyes did at Preston. He's earning his his, his yeah. he's earning his, his clout, and someone mm. will eventually take a chance on him because he speaks well. He's very approachable. He's a good guy for a scouser, and he knows what he's doing. Absolutely, absolutely, and if, yeah. you can tell everyone's bought into it. I don't think there's a I don't think there's a single player playing every week that you can think yeah he's not he's not interested in everyone's clear you even see it with the the media stuff coming out you know the the little videos and what have you like, kind of getting an insight into everyone's loving it i'd like to stop you there nick i'll say one word alex reed well that's why that's why i said players who are in, in the squad every week yeah 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 i think he... i feel a bit sorry for reading because that is i like... don't have you seen his instagram he seems happy enough chalk and cheese chalk and cheese <laughs> on seasons yeah, but again, it's that. about levels. It's about levels, and 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 we're, we're surpassing his level. 
and, mm. and no, you know, no, no. I mean, honestly, I swear to God, right? <laughs> oh no, I'm, you know, I'm not. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, Russ, I could see that you were like looking down the comments there. If you're gonna, if you ask, if you're gonna ask about the field manager. As people seem to want you to, I'm just logging off now because I don't care. I wasn't not, asking. What, what, why are we talking that. about a team we're, we're gonna not gonna play again? I wasn't I'm just, even... I'm just preempting it just in case you do. No, no, I was just I was just gonna ignore it, Nick, and not even bring it up. That's why. Um, yeah, yeah, that's well. Yeah, that, that right. well, yeah. <laughs> no, my my, ne my next thing was gonna be just to, not even a question. It's just about read really. But we're, we're gonna get this, aren't we? Where players come in. If if Challenger stays with us for three another three four five years, even he'll bring players in that 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 doesn't work, and they'll just get put to the side to want of a better phrase, and they'll get shipped out. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, whether it's 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 probably whether it's ability, attitude, you know, the way he conducts himself, any of those reasons, whatever you know, when he's training, Reed isn't he's just not doing it for Challenger, which is fair enough. That's that's Challenger's prerogative, isn't it? And we're going to get more of these. We're going to get more of these. Even Fergie didn't get everything right, did he? You know, with his signings. Well, he so, said 50%, didn't he? He, he said the. Uh, was it? Yeah, that's what Fergie said. Fergie right. said the, the, the standard ratio for managers of successful signs of 50%. Yeah. Right. Fair enough. Yeah, which is fair enough. So I think we're, we're better than that at the moment. Yeah. Well, I saw, I saw on a different percentage, on a different metric, I saw a tweet the other, uh, the other day saying, uh, I think he said, who is the best manager in the National League? And it showed the win percentages. And everybody was at between 45 and 55. Challenger was at 83.4 or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... is, like, is, he, is he just playing football manager? Or <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> Fucking cheating at football manager. Uh, can, we, can we have a quick chat about the uh, the BT coverage again? Because I just find myself getting more... Especially if there's like a big a, another big game in our league and it's on BT, I'll watch it. So you hmm. get to see how they, how they talk about other clubs compared okay. to us and the difference is just i mean research for a start they don't don't don't, don't bother doing any i heard it, i heard it again about uh the song that we apparently sing reads electric which oh yeah which, I heard that. I mean, Reed wasn't even in the squad and they brought it up this is the research they do and it's the, the, where, uh, where, have, where have they got that from because that, that has only ever been it was on a sticker yeah a over, over the county culture that's, yeah. that's the only that's, place i've seen it and we've like, never sung no one, it no one sung it no no and that that first came about before the west ham game that was when it first got mentioned that so we right. didn't sing anything because we weren't in the ground it's just Sorry? and then during the game they had uh they had challenges the cardboard cut out of challenger that's in that's doing the rounds at the moment and the commentators mm. all didn't know whether that was a cut out or the real thing. Then it's like, well, he's standing <laughs> with the fans. Is that not a giveaway? And, and a big speech bubble. Unless you live live in a cartoon, that's not like common practice. <laughs> um, and and the worst one of like you're you're going to love this, Daz. You're going to fall off your chair, mate. Um, just before half time, the I don't, I'm not sure if it's a commentator or summariser, but he said, "Oh, well, if if Stockport do get back to the league, si I'm sure Simon Rusk will be sitting at home taking some of the credit." Like what? Because <laughs> that's, that's Adam Virgo from X Brighton. Who's his, yeah, they both. He won't let it go. Yeah. He just won't let it go. <laughs> it's, he's like he's like some spurned ex lover. Adam yeah. Virgo. Like I don't, I don't know if he's like angling for a job up at Dundee. Well, it don't, it don't matter because they won't be there. For long, so I don't <laughs> they won't be there that long. <laughs> but but yeah, it's pretty curious me. But Adam Virgo's thing for us predates it predates Rusk, doesn't it? Even I, I remember even under Gannon, he was saying we had we, we, we were had a really bad defence. I'm sure he was saying that under Gannon. Did no, 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 that's get... under Rust. That's towards the end of last season. That was when, was when it? we were on a, on a when our defence was actually doing. Well. It was didn't, during, Virgo, during the didn't Virgo get sent off when he was playing for Brighton at Edgeley Park once? Maybe, oh, yeah. Now you're, you're asking. Maybe that was it. Wasn't the summer? Yeah, this wasn't is... the summer happened in the main stand? Is it him? I don't want I, it, the name rings a bell because he was a right back, wasn't he, Virgo? It's a full yeah. back. I remember, I remember him getting sent off for Brighton. I think I could be wrong. Someone will probably correct me, but I think that's probably where probably got a meat pie thrown at his head or something off the main stand. He's never <laughs> forgiven us. I don't know. But, but yeah, it was it was last season during the the unbeaten run, the eighteen game unbeaten run. What he said. Um, right. I, was, I, was, I think we kept about five clean sheets in six games at a time. Yeah, albeit against like terrible fodder. But still, yeah, yeah. It's, it's 
Very strange. And he got very chippy when like called out on it on Twitter. I wasn't one of them, so I've got better things to well, I've not, but I knew, it, I, knew, I knew it happened, so I've obviously not got better things to do. But yeah, he got very, very chippy at people saying, "Well, you're, you're wrong." So, I mean, to be fair, ultimately he was he was kind of right in the end because we didn't go up because we because we conceded goals. That's what that's what generally it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but, but statistically, our defense wasn't. Bad. But we won't have to be on BT much longer. Hopefully. No, Ho- hopefully we'll have to until we get in the Champions League. But you know, we can. Worry about that when we come to it. Yeah. In fact, they probably won't even have BT to show in the Champions League. Then you'll probably just you'll probably just like pay a fee and get it like beamed into your head or something. By time we're in it, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you? Have we finished on BT sports coverage? Anything? anything Never. <laughs> but it was, it was just at the point where everything they said, I was just just getting really really annoyed. And the missus, just, in turn, missus, missus are getting annoyed at me because I yeah, I'm but, 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 old men. It's probably it probably means more because it's county. But do you ever listen to every commentator though, especially Clive Tilsley and, and Motty when he you know when he was doing it, and just think, what the fuck are you on about? Yeah. <laughs> you, oh yeah, you know, Clive yeah, Tilsley. But, you know, but at least they do the research though. At least they know they know the basic stuff. Whereas yeah. BT just don't don't seem to. Yeah, I know, I know. It's probably why they're on BT though, in it. To be fair. So I mean, it's just like that's why we're in non-league, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And do you know when we do go up, we won't, we're not going to be on telly, so we might as well just enjoy. It. We'll be on iFollow, won't we? But we won't be on the actual telly much. Will we? We get our, we'll get our one game a season on Sky Sports. Yeah, they'll pay us loads more money not to be on telly. Yeah, yeah. You, you're too good. You, you, you're making everyone else look bad. We can't have you on the telly. That, that's what did, it'll be. Did you see the figures from the um, from the co-op meeting with the with County on the, the the figures between TV money in the National League and TV money in, in the EFL? Yeah, it is astounding, and they put you on less. I just yeah, don't get it. But anyway, uh, okay, need a need a market then. I think we've we've just about covered need a market. It'd be nice to go through, but I don't want any risks taken. Um, Fully concentrating on Notts County on Tuesday. Um, I've been listening to the Notts lads, Notts County talk. With you know, they do post match for fan fan chats and, and and podcasts and things, and they are <laughs> they're a bit like that. That have you seen that Family Guy where Peter's in the car listening to listening to sad music and then happy music? <laughs> have you seen that one? I don't know if anyone has ever seen that, but he's really yeah, sad yeah. listening to like um, I think it's I think it's REM. Everybody yeah. hurts. Then all of a sudden, shiny, happy people come on, and he starts going like that. Ah. <laughs> Big smile. Just, that. Just, just let it be known, Russ. If you ever have to say on this show, "Have you seen that Family Guy?" Where, just assume I have that you have. Okay, right. Yeah. Have you, what about you, Dad? Are you a Family Guy fan? What? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell he's over fifty, can't you? Are you a Are you a Family Guy fan? Are you cheeky bastard? Oh, bastard. <laughs> cheeky bastard. <laughs> You heard that, I tell you what, let's have a let, let's have a poll now in the comments on three of us who looks the best. Fucking, I'll, I'll take the trophy right now. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. That's not hard next to us, buddy. Troll. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course I watch Family Guy. And I know the episode you're talking about. I just wanted to remain cool and not, you know, I'm yeah. trying to impress women for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I yes, so... place, then. They don't watch. <laughs> um. So yeah, that, that's how I that's how I'm sort of gauging them at the minute. They're very happy when you know, obviously when they get a win, it's like yes, playoffs are on. We're, they're, they're saying that winning the league's just out of sight now, like just out of sight. Well, someone is saying it then because every other team you're seeing like I wouldn't be surprised if it's like Kings Lynn fans like we can still catch them. <laughs> Stop, oh, I haven't won it yet because that's what I'm hearing everywhere else. But to be fair, we've been I I can see why Rex genuinely think they'll catch us because we've been the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You've been very mis- yeah. mischievous now, aren't you, Russ? Yeah. But you know this this um, this notion that I've just seen a comment and it's made me forget what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, well, yeah. Sorry. This, this, this is a guy who's got his own radio show for. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> Do you know this 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 notion though that they, teams would rather be in their position than in ours? Yeah, it's rubbish. It's, no. like, it's like shut up. Shut yeah. up. Come on. 
Um, that's just that's just bollocks, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I mean, is it if someone someone else can talk at this point? It's like, would, <laughs> would, 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 would you rather be? Like chased by a sex attacker, or would you rather be chasing the sex attacker? No, because that doesn't work. No, because then I want to be Rexon, don't I? We're we're the sex attacker. Just stop saying sex attacker. I just stop saying. It. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking stop. <laughs> that, that was a lot. Then we're gonna get another fl- a red flag on us from YouTube mm. if we're not careful. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> um. Yeah, so you'd rather be us, wouldn't you, than the, the, the chasing pack? I've just seen these comments flying in now <laughs> about who's what. Yeah, but yeah, you'd rather be six points clear and with a game in hand as well. And like you say, it could be nine by Tuesday. Happy days, yeah. Sorry, mate, I'm reading the comments as well, but I'm done. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. I'm yeah. going to turn the comments off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so, reading yeah. them, so I assume there's... <laughs> I'm not reading them. <laughs> Someone said Ru- Russ looks like Richard Gere if he fell from a plane. <laughs> uh, it's oh, all right. Dear. Do you know that analogy of, of a big guy with a small guy and the guy, big guy's got his hand on his head and he's the other the small guy? Your favourite to... analogy? Yeah, my favourite analogy. That's me and that's me and left bollock that because have you seen him? He's about five foot two. Yeah. Bless him. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so. So you'd rather be us. Where was I going with this? Notts County, that's it. So they are, they, yeah, they, they, they think they're just about away from um, from winning it. They think that's probably just out of such indices now. Playoffs for them. They don't fancy themselves in the playoffs based on the current form. We've got them on Tuesday. Again, because it's going to be shit hours or anything from, 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 the, from, the, from the first whistle. I just hope that, because it's a home game, it makes me a little bit twitchy because we've not been... That great at home, but I expect Notts County not to sit back. I hope they'll. I hope they'll come out and get and try and try and try and give us something. You don't reckon? They're coming for a draw. I think that as well. <clears throat> I don't know. You know, I'm not sure. I know you said that earlier as well, but if they've got any ambitions of, of sort of cementing their playoff place, they they need to come and try and do something. Even if they just see how the game goes, you know, start off sort of. Okay, so. When a team comes, let me just educate you a little bit, Russ. I don't mean to be patronising, but they're still going to try and win the game. But they're going to do it. They're going to do it via either set pieces or, or shit out of it, right? <laughs> don't get confused by the. What I'm saying is, they're going to go. Look, they will realise that we are by far the best team in the league. So they'll be thinking, let's get the points off the people we can get it off. It's going to be maybe a big ask. So what they'll come is they'll come and try not to lose first, and then they'll try and win. Okay, it's like your vision, isn't it? Oh, we don't want to win, we don't want to win. No, they're going to try not to lose first, which means that, having said that, though, I could be completely wrong and they could come and play three up top and really go at it. I don't know. I'm, I'm not I'm no, imagining but, that, not scouting. No, but we're, we're kind of having a... We're, we're agreeing here, aren't we? Because I, what I'm saying is, they'll, yeah, they'll, 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 tr- they'll come they'll come and see how the game pans out for them. So they'll, they'll come set up, they'll be structured, I'm, I'm guessing, and they'll try to work out how the game's going and maybe go at us if it's going in their way. And then, then if it's not, it'll be self-preservation and they'll play for the draw. What I'm, I'm expecting them to come out at some point in the game. They'll have to, because if they want, you know, if, they, if, if they're going for the playoffs, they're going to want to show to their fans and, 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 and us and everybody else that they can compete with us at some point, because it's, unless, unless they, they may as well give up now if they're not going to do that. They've got to come with something at some point in that game. At the end of the day, the Vauxhall you know, conference is going to be the real winner. You know what? You're right. And and if they do come for a draw, right? Personally, it shows lack of ambition. And mm. to me, they're making them they're making a mistake. I'm, I'm, look, we've all made mistakes, right? We've all been to Thailand. We've all thought it was a blow, <laughs> then it was a blow. Some of us have found out a little bit too late, right? So <laughs> let the comment section go. Fuck it out! He speaks the truth. Fuck it out! This guy. So for me, if I was the Notts County manager, I'd go for it. Because if you're going to get turned over four, then you might as well get turned over four going for it than, than get turned over two or three by sitting back for 60 minutes. Because as soon as, like you say, as soon as they do start to expand out, we just got too much for them in behind. We're just too quick. Yeah. We're just too good at the top end of the pitch. Yeah. I, I, I agree. Sorry. I agree. No, no, I, I agree. I agree. But you... You didn't patronise me. You, you do know what patronising means, don't you? 
Oh, now you're patronizing me. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, no, do you know actually, Russ? No, educate me. I don't know what it means. <laughs> it means to speak down to somebody. Yeah, well, that, well, that's not, well. What I mean is, I wasn't. Well, I wasn't trying to kibosh your opinion. I, I no, value no, I'm your j- opinion. Right. Okay. I'm, I, don't, I don't. I'm, I'm joking. I don't know where this is going now. So, football's the winner. Um. Okay. That's the Notts County match. Anything more on the Notts County match on tu- on Tuesday? Do you know what I didn't do? I didn't get I didn't get a range with the with the Notts County last have a pod or anything. I've not done that. Would so... we have got space for them? Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course we would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we'll have a chat to them next week. We'll do a post mortem with them. Yeah, we could do. Yeah, we do, we do if... post mortem on next week's show. Yeah, <laughs> long as we've long as we've won. Um... No, no, that's. Uh... Even even if even if let's let, let them come and pretend they're a proper team for like ten minutes, it's good of us, isn't it? Just to show there's no uh, show there's no sour grapes or anything. Let, show let we're not come, bitter. Let's show them we're not arrogant. Let them come and pretend that they're a good team for fifteen well, minutes. We we don't want to appear petty and vindictive. And as as petty and, and vindictive individuals, we've got to work harder to make sure we don't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's Notts County on Tuesday. Right, let's get into other stuff. England call ups. For me? And I got on. No, no. I might do the way it's going, the way everyone's dropping out. Well, well yeah, you might. You might to a there. certain extent, if I just can interject there, boys, to a certain extent, I have had an England call up, albeit no. in the Eurovision, but it's an England oh, call up. Oh, and you're no. speaking to an international, I am qualified to speak about this. There we go. He's representing. And how to not get a good hiding. <laughs> <laughs> and that was in the dressing room afterwards as well. But anyway, <laughs> that's coming in the book. <laughs> Do you know what? It, it's I'm so I'm so fucking proud of my club and my team. I know it's non-league England, but I'm so proud that that the that, that players that really are playing well for us are getting the um uh, you know, the props that they deserve. I know two of them have pulled out and I know Palmer hasn't yet. But I want Palmer to go and play. Yeah, same. I really do. I think he deserves to go and play. I want him to go and play. I think that Palmer has given nothing but 200% every time he pulls that jer- jersey on. Yes, he isn't, you know, Van Dilk or Van Dildo, whoever plays for the that guy plays for the pool. He's not him, but he gives everything. He gives everything and he deserves his moment. And I think the last manager or whoever was picking the team at the time, I don't know, treated him like shit. Yeah. Absolute shit. And did he throw his toys out? No. Before he got his place back and the new manager values him. Now, I know this. I'm going to say, because I want to talk a bit about this. I know that the contract thing, all right? And for the first time, I think I'm going to agree with our director of football. Because um, because I, if I was, if I was, if I was, County's manager, he'd be one of the first names on the sheet. However, it's going to upset some people. He's now playing at his level. All right? He is playing at his level. Ash probably could go one step up. But in terms of looking at a two- or three-year contract, I think Mr. Wilson's quite wise. In, in Now, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. He might already have a contract. Do we, you know, football's not about emotion anymore. It's about business. And if, we were, if it was an emotional decision, you'd go and give him another year. But what's Ash now? 27, 28 now, is he? I don't know. 30, 30, 31 now. Right. Right. So there you go. Why are you going to, from a business perspective, just because he's been a phenomenal player, give him a two-year contract where he's not going to play? I, th- I think he'll be... Upset for, I mean, people. This I is my opinion. Time, and I think he's phenomenal. But phenomenal at this level. That's what I'm saying. He's not a Mike Flynn where Mike could go up through the leagues. And remember the Tottenham game. It's all about levels. Mr. Flynn, you know, his arsehole is still on White Hart Lane because he got ripped yeah, open yeah. because you're playing at that level. Now, that's not going to go at Mike because Mike's fucking phenomenal. Captain Marvel. But we've got to be realistic and get a business about emotion. And I think that's the reason why there's been stalling on the new contract, which is why I want the guy to go and play for England C. And, and show everyone what he can do and, and, and go on that platform. Well, the other two, it's no surprise that they've pulled out. Why? Because they don't need to go. Yeah, that's well, yeah, Crowsdale's done it before. He's got a few caps already. Uh, Collar, 
I suppose isn't your traditional non-league player. He's not yeah. like works his way up from the. Well, obviously he's had to work his way up in his career and everything, but he's not come up through non-league where. So Palmer, I can see because he's got a couple of months left in non-league. He won't. He's, he's not going to represent the full the senior team. But I, I think Palmer will have no problem in League Two when we've seen him against football league sides before. There's been no and the to be fair, the bottom half of League One, there's no difference between that and. Where it's a game now. of opinions, isn't it, Nick? It's a game of opinions, and that's your opinion. I, yeah. I'm just saying that when people are going, it's an outrage, why hasn't he got a contract? Having worked in the game, right? I know I'm not known for it, but having worked in the game, I know people who are doing the business end of clubs when it comes to contracts. Reed's a classic example. Reed sat on a contract there because we tied him into a, a, term, a long-term contract when he was scoring the goals. Now we're paying him for nothing. Do you know what I'm saying? From a business perspective, I know we're, we're millionaires and all that type of stuff. And I could be wrong and it could be announced tomorrow he's got a two-year deal. I'm just saying, when people, oh, it's an outrage. Well, it is because if you look at it from an emotional perspective, and he still is, is brilliant. But, you know, Ash Palmer is, is, is good at this level and the level up, I agree. But, but when you come against really, really top players, which we will do as we start to go up, then, then the cracks will start to appear. Will, will Ash Palmer be in our side in two years? The answer is no. And people are going to crucify me for that. Uh, but I think he's phenomenal. I think he's phenomenal. All right? So this is just my opinion based on the outside looking in. I'm not inside the club knowing why he hasn't had a contract yet. And they could be negotiating it. That's just my opinion based on what I see. And I could be completely wrong. Ash, if you're watching, you're an amazing individual. I, I think he'll, he'll get to you, but we've, we've got a, we've got a title to win first before anyone gets new contracts and what have you. And I'd imagine a lot of players would say the same if they if they're in the middle of going going for a league title. Well, let, let me tell you, Nick, this win. contract runs out in June. I can tell you right now, right now, he will be he will be being courted already by other teams. But at the end of the day, no one's going to offer what we're going to offer, isn't it? Is He's not going to throw I'm away five, what, six, six, six again, So we can wait till the end of the season and do it then. That's what I'd do. Let's, I, th- let's, I think, let's I think agree will, to disagree. Will, I, th- I think he'll, he'll get... A, well, I think we are agreeing because I'm saying let's focus on getting promotion before we do it. But I think he'll get he'll get a one or two year deal because even if we were to be in League Two next season and it didn't work out for him, There'd be no shortage of teams in the National League wanting to pay a fee for him. So we're not going to lose anything that way. But I, I think he will He will get like a, a year or two at least. Let's I think, hope so. I think, he, Let's I think hope. He'll, he'll be good in, in League Two at the very least, having seen seen the quality. There's a couple of people Let's here in so. the comments who went to watch Crew Portsmouth last night and, and said Palmer would fit straight into that Crew team. Because they're oh, well. Well, we'll be, probably be playing Crew next season, it's looking like. Because uh, that's... Uh, there's no backstory or anything there to get us more annoyed at him, is there? Oh, that's going to be great, that. Yeah, I, but I, I just hope that however he goes out, I think he should be, he just goes out and sort of nicely, if you like. You know, maybe give him another year, see how he adapts to lead what to. What he, like, he don't goes. steal anything on the way out. Don't like Nick. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I mean, no, I hope it's a respectful, a respectful and, and, Nice exit, you know, not like Duxbury, that kind of that kind of thing. Well, he'll be you with know. us for another year or two yet, Palmer. We've got we've got another couple of years of Ash Palmer, I think, to be. Not yeah. no inside inside information, I think, but yeah, at, going, at the very least, as a squad player. Going back to the England call up, I just, I, I mean, I know they don't care, and, and it happens to the Premier League teams, the Championship teams, but it, it feels really important that he doesn't play in it for me because he might pick up an injury, and if he picks up an injury, he's our he's our guy at the back, and. I'm, I'm worried of that. Um, so why not? Why not have a little tournament after the f- season's ended, and then, then the time the timing is ridiculous. Yeah, um, it's a bit. It's, I suppose it's during international break, isn't it? It's got to be then. Um, yeah, yeah, the, the, it's ridiculous. I mean, everyone else now that Collar and Crowsdale have dropped out, I won't be surprised if other teams start thinking, "Well, should we should we pull ours out?" Yeah. Yeah, and of course, I think if if Wales didn't only just pick uh, League of Wales players, mm. South of Wales could could easily go into theirs, couldn't they? I guess. Well, oh, yeah. Weirdly enough, I'm kind of contemplating going because it's a uh, <laughs> if, if, it's if, if it's a Carnarvon, yeah, Carnarvon. That's, right. That happens to be who I'm managing on Footy Manager right now. 
So, right. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you're so thinking I'm of like, going and, and saying, I'm yeah. <laughs> like, do a picture with a scarf outside. Yeah. <laughs> you'll be there, you'll be there, Akito, won't you? Yeah, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing the eyes, Russ. <laughs> um, okay, that's the England call ups. Uh, what else is it? What about, um, yeah, you mentioned something before, Dash. You've been sampling John Kerry. Tell, tell us about that. Well, yeah, well. If I may You're put my or... well, well for Nick, if I may put my uh, Jim will fix it hat on in a non-tampering way, <laughs> because I know Nick's always had this dream of you know being in the studio with the headphones on, doing the charity record. I know, I know, I know he's had that dream. So <laughs> last time we spoke, last time we spoke in December, we we spoke to him and I said, oh, I'll, I'll get to write him. And I remembered when I was managing over in Guam, right. I wrote a song called Take Me Home because we were 10 hours in front of, of the UK. So I used to sit in bed at night listening to JK at the county game. And I used to think, he take me home there. Let me leave this ex Miss Guam, beautiful bikini glad girl I'm with in the 90 degrees every day. Let me go back to Stockport. <laughs> anyway, so I've had this yeah. song for ages. And then when, when you said it a few weeks ago, so I got it out and I started messing around with it. And, and it started to come together in like a world in motion type of way. So I've just started to sample up JK for all the bits that you need. Now, so what I'm thinking, in a week or so, I'm going to know if it works. Sometimes, you know, you do these things and they sound so fucking bad, you just forget it. Mm. So what I'm thinking of is doing it as a tie-in with the scarf, the guard of war, and we can maybe put the proceeds to the statue or something like that. Invite some fans down. We'll get a Stockport studio. We can all get there with the headphones on and, and do a video that way for the streaming. Just something that I'm thinking about. Obviously, it's something we'd need to get ready for May for the, for yeah. the promotion. But um, yeah, just, just going, just sampling up JK today and, and uh, getting hard listening to those dulcet tones. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful man, always oh, a beautiful man. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so it's a work in progress. But if you guys are up for it, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll ask live on the air now. We should do it as a as a Scarf Bugara War collective. Yeah. Yeah. We can all have our little individual individual parts. Get some fans down to sing the chorus, which is a, a phenomenal chorus, by the way. It's, it's oh, John Denver would be proud. <laughs> Ryan Moore in the comments has said Stockport, Stockport's version of Live Aid. Yeah, we could even film it and, and get like footage of us like getting out the car outside the studio. That 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 that's what we live for. <laughs> yeah. Really. yeah, I'm up for it. <laughs> yeah. I'll keep you posted. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go into my studio and, and finish the demo. If the demo works, then I know it's gonna work with all the voices on it. Obviously, once you put a beat behind JK, it works anyway. It's just yeah, it's yeah. just made for yeah. a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> just as long as long as you don't use the clip of JK that Pure used for ages to introduce the coverage. Oh, yeah, like, oh it's, off, yeah. it's off the bar and off the keeper, and it's crossed the line of all the goals. <laughs> Oh, well, I can tell you how this, I'll, I'll give you an, an exclusive how it starts. You know, the commentary where we score or where we hear that Spennymore have scored and we're playing Kurz and Ashton. Yeah. Oh, I would just, and suddenly everyone, like a Mexican wave, stands up in the Cheetle end and JK's voice goes up. Well, that's how it starts. And then right. and it starts to come in. And then the chorus kicks oh. in and away we go. And, and the first, so obviously, I was telling it as a story about my county experience. So the first verse is about when Brendan Elwood came, when it all started, and it goes into us crashing out the league and then Mr. Stock saving us and the champions. The last verse might be the champions, which is preempting. But you've got to be confident. The last time I preempted, I was a father. I'll leave that thought with you. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm definitely up for that. Yeah. And we'll, I'm yeah. sure we'll get loads I'll keep of people. You that, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And I, I will, I'm sure we'll get loads of people listening now who, who will come and join us to do the chorus and stuff. So, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds exciting. Um, happy days. Right. What else have we got? Right. Uh, so we're on to admin now, aren't we? Hmm. The Bagara Gin launch night is Thursday, April the 7th. Uh, our ladies in sure heat uh hosted by some idiot off this podcast um andy thorpe mike flynn chris beaumont peter ward jim gannon bill williams has just confirmed steve bellis is involved as well because obviously anything county 
can't be done without Steve Bellis being there. So sorted. Apart from our live shows, get in touch, Steve. Uh, and you can still pre-order that as well. So if you go to the go to the Stockport Gin various pages, that's on there. Have you pre-ordered a bottle of us? Are you a gin drinker, us? Do you drink gin? Did we discuss gin. this last week? I'm not a gin drinker. Oh, no. I, 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 I have gin in the bar, all day. But... <laughs> no, I'm not a gin drinker. I do have gin. I've got different gins in here, but I, I'm not a drinker. I imagine you as like the pub landlord. A pint of lager for the bloke and a pint of a drink, a glass of wine or a fruit based drink for the lady. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that all your admin? Is that is that you done? That, that, no, that, that was some admin. So yeah, yeah, okay. I'm ho- I'm it was me, by the way, the idiot from this. Yeah, it. I think we knew that. I think we got we're that, both yeah. idiots. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um so that is there, and the entry is a tenner for a ticket, and that includes a complimentary glass of Bagara gin together with a pair of tonic. And if it's fever tree tonic going with it, I think I'm going to take a selection of wigs and moustaches with me and just keep going around the block, like going get getting another one. So I'll I'll be three sheets to the wind by the time that starts, I'd imagine. But it should be fun. Uh, I think yeah. Jonathan the Geordie Hatter is back on Saturday morning. I've not double checked with him, but he did say he was planning to be back for the Needham Market game. Yes, he did. Yes. And the fan march on Tuesday. Tuesday. On Tuesday. We ha- we do get reminded of these things before we're going to say them, but we are going to say them, so you don't need to remind us. Uh, yeah, the fan march on Tuesday. Um, I think it starts at the Armoury again at quarter past six, if I'm... Half six. Half six. Half six. Ross, Half six. Ross yeah. is, there any, is there any age restrictions on that march? I'm thinking about doing it myself. No. No, nope. so you know we're, nope. we're being an old bastard. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no age, no age restrictions. No, um, I'm going to give it a try because I'm going to go. I'm going the Notts County game, so I'll be. I went. Early this I time. went on the march last time, and my tag didn't go off or anything, so should be fine. Should be all right. <laughs> me, uh, probation officer hasn't knocked at the door, so <laughs> it's all good. All good. Um. Yeah. So that's the fan march. Um. And I think that's. It give your radio show another plug, Russ. My new radio show, Classic Indie Rock, um, is on Sunday, two till three on um, Real Rock Radio. Get on it. There you go. Nice one. So yeah, so excited. I can't, I can't, I can't wait to hear you on it. Have, have you already pre-recorded it? Have you done it yet? Or you... no, I only, I only planned it out uh, last night, so I've got, to, I've got to record it. Yeah. Oh god! Oh, so excited! Can't wait! I really can't wait. It's like it's like one of my mates is going on the radio. I mean, that's pretty much what's happening. Well, yeah, but pretty much. <laughs> some, well, well, not one. Someone, someone I know is going on the radio. Yeah, I wouldn't say we're mates, would you? Acquaintances, acquaintances. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, where, where's the, Where's the album, by the way? Uh, you know what? I forgot, mate. I forgot. I've been. Uh, I've you been, have one oh, job, I'm, don't you? Uh, uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Sit down by James is up. There we go. There we go. No message. Lovely stuff. Yeah, I've, I've been in a, in, a, in a terrible rush tonight. I um, well, I, I, I've, not, I've not been too well, so I had a bit of a snooze when I got in. Uh, and then I woke up at like 6.54, which was a horrible, horrible nice. moment of just like waking up, looking at my phone and thinking, shit. Feeling, feeling like you've been pushed out of a plane. Did you not set an alarm? Yes, I did, but I'm I'm the type of man who sleeps through Do I not look like the type of man who sleeps through alarms? You, you do, you do actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To be fair, I look, I, look, I look the type of man who sleeps through everything. Yeah, to you honest. do, to be yeah. fair. Um Daz, quick question for you. What yes. sort of music what sort of music do you listen to? What sort of music are you into? Everything. I've been listening to your show, honestly, everything. Remember, people, just because I made a living out of putting that shite out, doesn't mean I'm that naturally into it. You know, well, look, at, look at Harry Styles. Harry Styles, like the stuff he did with One Direction compared to his solo stuff. Yeah. I was brought up, believe it or not, I was brought up on country music, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. That's why I did Rhinestone Cowboy, I made a few good off that yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, no, no. Honestly, I'm a huge Oasis fan, of, you know, huge fan of the, um, you know, the, the indie scene, in the 90s, the indie scene, the bands that didn't make it, you know, used to, you know, people, see, people just think, oh, it, it's cheesy 
vanilla ice. No, it's not. I, I, I have everything on in the car. A lot of 80s, though, you know, I, I do listen to a lot of 80s, the old 80s rock stuff, which yeah. is a bit, again, showing my age. But we all get on. We all, we all, we all get on. Good stuff. But I still look good. Comments, leave a comment. You do. You still look good. <laughs> um, it's the creams. It's the fucking creams. <laughs> um, Speaking of creams, anyway, no, I won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why um, I was in Belarus. <laughs> well, yeah, I was going to ask you about that because you, I saw, I saw a, a, a video clip of you in Belarus. At, was it? I'm going to uh, Dynamo Minsk. Have I got that right? Yeah. Yeah. So what was you doing out there with at Dynamo Minsk? At Dynamo Minsk? Come on, tell what us. How's it going to do with you? <laughs> 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 nah, I, 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 as you know, I, 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 I've got connections in, in a non-spying way in, in, in Belarus. Some football, some musical, and some of the heart. So, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm over in Belarus quite a lot. It's pr- pretty much my second home. Just that I don't. I don't do a lot of social media posting because you get people going, oh, fucking wanker, who's he think he is? Anyone looking at that video, it's minus seven. I'm in fucking Belarus, not Miami. <laughs> but you still get stick. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I was over there. I, 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 there's a little bit of football connection over there, but not to Dynamo Mix level. I mean, they, you know, um, but, but there is some football connections, matters of the heart, and a little bit of music. Um, so, a bit of an all rounder. I'm the Shane Warne of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what's that? That's what you do when someone dies, don't you? <laughs> yeah, did you hear how he did? Anyway, it doesn't matter. No, no, I'll no, send no. you some photos. <laughs> to be honest, I, I heard Thailand and Heart Attack, and I kind of put things together there. Have you yeah. seen the photos? I think I have seen a photo doing the rounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and my DMs yeah. are open, fellas. I'm, 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 I'm a ghoulish bastard, so <laughs> my DMs are open. I got, yeah, it's a, just someone who's that could be the title of the B side to the football <laughs> song. My DMs, yeah, my DMs are, open. are open, honestly. <laughs> uh, j- j- I'm going to answer a question about my show actually, so I'm just going to indulge myself for a second. Uh, Tom Downs, can my band be featured on the show? Yes, you can. Just email me, uh, rustcjohnson at hotmail.com, and we'll uh, we'll sort something out. Um, oh, look, at that was the, that was the coolest thing you've ever done, that was, mate. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, my God. See, I'm, 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 I'm gro- Yeah, it's good, isn't it? God, um, you'd, like, you'd like Moyles next. Oh, don't get me started on that, on that <laughs> shit. Honestly, don't get me started on that shit. That's a good thing about the show. I can play what I want. I'm even going to dip into like B sides and uh, and live stuff as well. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play yeah. what I like. Might even That's do some post rock. You know, bit of Sigur Ross and Bogwai. Yeah, because oh, sort, sort, sort of links in. Sort of links in. So, oh, yeah. I can't wait. And and I'm local more, bands. I'm more excited than if I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Local bands as well. Any anyone I'm gonna get palaver on it definitely if uh, if Rob's listening. Anyway, that's enough about that. It's uh, Sunday at two o'clock. <laughs> that's enough about that. <laughs> Sundays at two. What time is that? <laughs> so it's Sunday. This Sunday. This Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. At two. Repeat, at two o'clock. Repeat it on a Friday. Two o'clock. Two p.m. Yeah. Repeat it on a Friday. Two p.m. Yeah. I think that was a um, good plug in that. I've got a long way to go before I even can be in the same room as you, Daz, though, you know, being in the music industry. So trust me, mate, you could be in the same room tomorrow. It's all fictional. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bubble. <laughs> right. And with that, should we say goodbye? Thanks, yeah, guys. Later. If I don't Cheers. see you again, I'll see you soon. Let's hope that record turns out. Any county fans interested in being in the video? Once we finish the song, I'll get the guys to announce it, but it might not work. It might. If it does, you'll be the first to know. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, and we'll um, we'll have you on before the se- end of the season anyway, I'm sure. We'll have you back on. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy, lads. yeah? All right. Cheers, everyone. Bye now. Bye, lads. <laughs>